I woke up one morning after showering. I walked out into the hall by the closet, the one that housed the AC units and vents, and I heard this little rumbling, like a small twiddling through some plastic bags, the ones that I had kept, some nails and staples for lining my telephone and ethernet. It was a possum, and it was still alive. His nose twitching, he or she or it was still a baby. And it must have fell through a gap in my ceiling or the ventilation duct. It was leading to a vent out of the roof. And he was alone. There was no food, no water. I was scared. It was scared. I'm sure. Or perfectly content. I'm no possum, so it, it was a little hard to empathize with its circumstance of being there. All alone, no home or mother, some utility closet in the world, and tool bag, all cold. And I called the maintenance guy in our complex and reported I had a loose varmint in my household. I mean, I meant no harm. My cats were flipping out, trying to claw under the vents, and pawing at the door and chipping away at the wood, trying to get at it, sniffing, hissing, investigating, prowling hunting the, this loneliness that wept on the other side of the door and this innocence, this young life. The very next day, the little intruder was gone. Supposedly it was taken away and caged and the maintenance people were going to release it into the wild. And Kenny, the maintenance manager, he told me it, it would happen. Well, now this is weird. The next week, get this, the next week I found another possum that was the same size, with the same nose, identical in nature, but dead, I think. I'm no possum, but I do believe they are known to play dead in self-defense, but this one wasn't moving. And, uh, like, you know, it, moving its nose like last time. It smelled dead. Now, surely it found its way to, or fell through a gap, and got trapped that was supposedly repaired in the utility closet. Now, it must have fell down, searching maybe smelled its mother or brother or sister or whoever it was first discovered and caged and I guessed released into the wild. I figured the dead possum must have starved to death. There was no food, there was no water. I mean that's what happens to life when trapped in a utility closet and shut off from the world for too long. You know behind a closet for too long. At least to this little guy. This moment of life, abandoned, forgotten, or maybe Kenny flipped out and killed the initial possum and planted it there and never released it to be cruel. Nah, I don't know. Maybe not. These things that I think of now, pick apart like a detective, analyze to keep me away from the image of her, to stop me from remembering her something to focus